<laughs> and a little piece of something that I didn't finish swallowing came back up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Congratulations. One more shot. One more hendo. It's my off day, so I might drink another hendo. I started off with two. This is four. I might drink six more. I said six more. <laughs> six more, girl, you'll die. No, two more. And then I will finish doing what I got to do and go to sleep. Because I need sleep. She has to be up at 6.45 in the morning for me. That's a reason to take a shot, too. Welcome back to the channel. It's Michi. And I am. And uh, Paulie just left. Because he don't follow rules. Because what did I tell you to do? We are here with the with the fact that my kid gets on my nerves. You have to eat a whole bit to switch it. No. Oh. Uh, what in the hen? I got my notes. What in the hen? Celebration! One K celebration for Ace Eats! Yay! And she celebrated with her hubby, and he wanted. The Hendo, which let me tell you something, guys. I'll get into it in a minute after I read the because I'm gonna talk shit. Uh, rules Cornish hen that I put in the air fryer after I bought it from Jewel because I was not cooking it. Um, you stuff it with anything you want to stuff it with. The hen dog is what the hubby called it, and then you got to tell a story of a weird, awkward, or embarrassing moment. And I have like all of them, but I know what. In my head, I'm gonna say, and then if you know the thought drink, and it has cognac, so it pairs well with the hendo. And um, Ace, Candace, you do not have to drink for me, but I will drink for you. <laughs> and um, you don't have to drink; that's optional. Um, if you drink, if you're an adult, if you're not an adult and you want to drink, because I mean, do you? That's your business, not mine. My kids are eating just a regular food, but I have, uh, I stuffed my hen with, cause the other side was pale. So I didn't want to show you that side, but we got chorizo with onion. And I didn't want, the, the hen was being a little juicy. If y'all um, wondering what this is, it's just too exclusive. I cooked arroz blanco with pollo guisado, but it's with chicken breast. Usually Puerto Ricans do it with like the drums and like all the meat, but I do chicken breast. Anyways, that's for them with corn. That's my son's favorite meal. But I did chorizo, uh, chorizo, potatoes, and onion. And I was gonna stuff it, but why stuff it? I'm gonna have to take it out. And then I got some tortillas on the side to like make little tacos. And then I got a piece of corn. Are these old tortillas? Why do they look like that? I'm gonna take a shot. Congratulations, Ace Eats, on your 1K celebration. You've been working hard at it. Um, you deserve it. Uh, she's like my my virtual friend. I want to meet her one day. But salut. And on the Hennessy note, you know I'm a te I've been a Jameson girl forever, but lately I've been a tequila girl. My mom was a Hennessy girl back in like 2015. Oh. <laughs> back in the day, back in the day before she was even born. If you could, I don't even know if you can look through Instagram anymore. She even has stuff like this anymore. But there's mm -hmm. a video of her dead chugging a Hennessy bottle. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's giving Henny. Like, why? But Henny was mine and my girl Titania's, my best friend Titania's drink of choice. She still drinks Hennessy. Sometimes she switches it up to tequila now. But this makes me angry. So I don't drink it no more. Because uh, cognac makes me angry. So, you know, if you can't drink it, then don't drink it. You know? But cheers. Salud. Um, now let's get monetized if you're not already monetized. Let's run her playlist. She probably has one. I will. Uh, all her information will be in the description box as always. Salud. I'm going to eat. I swear I am. <laughs> it's my day off though so I can do what I want she's a poet. She look like veneers. and you know what's so crazy 
They might be white, but I have a few root canals. But the front of my teeth. What are root canals? Not crown tosses. Like no, like root canals. Like sorry. Yeah, I know. Just, just walk away from production. So, I'm gonna eat a little first because I is a little hungry. Can you bring me the tapatio since you wanna, um, since you wanna leave? I need a little tapatio. Trey Mexican in here, and I love me a Mexican. Ooh, did I say that? <laughs> I scratched that. I love. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I said that. I love me a Mexican. My daughter loves herself a Mexican. I might love me a Mexican, but he don't know that. He don't need to know that. It's my business. <laughs> my son just said you. Let's see if it needs. So it's just um, you know, keep it in Mexican style in a sense. Um, and then um, as far as my weird, uh, I'm gonna talk about an awkward moment. Um, I want to eat first. I'm hungry. Just never mind. It, it tastes pretty good without it. This is good. You want to taste some of this chicken? This is white chicken. Um. Do you have an awkward moment or a weird moment or a... And the AC's in the background, but it's too hot. When it turns off, it turns off. I have a few. And as women, we all probably have a lot of awkward moments. And I feel, I really wish men will not make it awkward for us. But I be having major awkward, major like questionable, like... Don't make me feel like that. Moments. Um, I will talk about the fact that um, the recent one that I had, I texted my little thine, my little Mexican thine, that I've been working a little overtime on the platform, CTA. Um, anyways, uh, where I was standing there with a few coworkers. Uh, we basically are info specialists, you know, where we just stand there. Uh, and this guy jumped off the train and was just like eyeballing me. Like, and he had his uh, dreadlocks like in a bow underneath his neck and he just looked weird. And I peeped him a few times and was even able to record his face on how like he was eyeballing me. And I'd be looking like this at work. And not wanting to be bothered. Is that my napkin? Did I only bring one napkin? And you stole my napkin. Can we at least share it? <laughs> How did I even end up with that? Like, I don't even remember. You know my nose is wet. So, yeah. So, um, he just made me feel weird. And, I'm, and I was standing, like, by my co-workers. And my co-worker leaves me. And he approaches me. And I'm like, oh, my God. Please, and I uh, obviously, um, for me as a woman, I never want to be rude. Um, I want to be a little standoffish, but not rude because men, some men, do not take rude lightly. I said I, I had a, I was married, and he was like, "Where's your wedding wing? Re Where's your wedding wing?" <laughs> To you. He no, but you, did you not hear the way I said wing? <laughs> and I said, I don't have it. Uh, I don't wear it for work, you know, and I try to throw in some track bullshit. Like, and he just kept like cornering me and my coworker left me. Did I say that? That my coworker was standing right next to me and then he left me, left me. And um, he like was talking about the fact that he had a newborn. He showed me his newborn and I'm like, kind of cornered you know like cornered <laughs> and uh i just continued to talk to him and say congratulations and he was trying to explain his situation
because what we do is kick off people who are continuous riders from one train to the next and I don't know from blah 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 from one train to the next and I don't know how much of my job I could description I could speak about and I don't want to so just that um but he cornered me where I was just like trying to figure out a way to like shake him real quick um but still be polite because i never want to make someone feel especially a man feel like uh i'm trying to diss him or i'm better than him because you know how those guys that try to hit on you and then you're like no i'm good and they'll be like fuck you bitch you ugly bitch and all types of like hold on sir you were just asking me for my number that's what literally happened to me today like uh Damn, I just said I got a man. <laughs> you know, now I'm a bitch, a fat bitch. Suck my dick. Kids, I'm sorry. <laughs> and my kids are used to my... I'm sorry. I already told you this is usually not a kids channel. <laughs> just because I got my kids on here don't mean everybody else's kids got to hear it. So viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even touched that food. I ate... Oh, you trying me. I didn't even drink. I was trying to tell my story. And I kind of like zigzag. But you know how men are. They, some get offended. So I was trying to, and then as soon as I could shake them and like go back to like where I was safe, where there was security, everybody. I I, I had it with my, co my co-worker slash he's my partner on Fridays. You know who you are. I told you I was going to make a video about you. And I finally did. You know who you are. You left me alone. And he was like. I, I was looking. I mean, I, he did. He was making sure I was okay, but he still let that guy corner me. So that was my awkward moment, and I have many more, but I don't want to talk about them. Men, be a little bit more respectful to the fact that if a woman just says or feels or you could, like, move, push on. Nobody wants to be talked to, especially at work. If a woman is at work, she don't want to be flirted with half the time. I mean, some do, so I don't want to say all. But you shouldn't, once you shoot your shot if she feels a little you know at un at ease you should be like okay she doesn't feel right i look like shit on another note <laughs> tell your little that That's matches you hear mine mm -hmm. mine is terrible and i don't want you guys to take offense to this well just I make sure you word it the right about, way anybody about this lately because I felt so bad about what, how I worded this situation. So this woman, a heavy, a heavy woman came into the bathroom. And there's one tiny ass little stall. I'm talking about one tiny ass little stall. I don't even want to go in there. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I hear her come in, I wasn't even peeing. So I was like, let me get out. Because it's like, let me let her use the bathroom. It's courtesy. She was like, Oh, thank you, because that small ass bathroom. And I was like, yeah, I know you wouldn't want, want, it, want <laughs> wanted to have used that bathroom. And then I was like, should I not have said that? And then like, they just got silent. And I was like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. And I didn't mean to like, a f well, you don't even use it either though. Exactly. So I wanted to be like, my ass wouldn't even use that shit either. Like, well, you should have thrown that in and not have felt like, she, but did she take it as an awkward or I don't know. I just, moment? I washed my hands and I got out of there really quick because I just, I you felt, felt awkward. I felt awkward and really bad because I didn't word it in the right way. And, and words do mean a lot. Words do mean a lot, but I didn't mean it like that. Like, if I was that bogus, I would have just stayed in the bathroom. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was not going to let her use that tiny ass bathroom, though. Like, I felt bad. <laughs> Congratulations, Ace. <laughs> she didn't tell me to say that, though. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, uh, Ace. Ace Eats. Yeah. Her description will be in the... I'm always so fucking backwards. I'm just so backwards. Her... <laughs> her information will be in the description box. I said she was talking about her us. Oh. What <laughs> you Oh, that's sincere. <laughs> the one that always be telling my name, A N I Y A. And then she says, I'm the only one that could call you that. You're stupid. <laughs> if you know, you know. And if you know, you know, you'll know right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. These tortillas, I think, are old. 
<laughs> That's why I haven't been eating. I think they're old or I didn't they're warm still? them up or... No, I think they're old. I should just eat it like this. I'm so... You already know we ghetto over here, right? And I thought they were new, but you know I don't do that much groceries. So I could waste money in the refrigerator. Lately, I haven't been doing groceries at all. I'm not wasting... I am not wasting money if it's just gonna go into garbage. Look at those. And we'd be fine without groceries somehow. Well, because we still buy your frozen stuff. Yeah. Did I make my point across? With my weird, yeah. It was so weird. And and my clothes Mine were, wasn't weird, mine was awkward. Well, mine was awkward too. I felt awkward. And like, cornered. And men do that on a regular. Women, have you ever been cornered? Talk to me in the comments. I know I'm not the only one that be feeling it. It's not on a regular, but at times I do. Not only at work, but this time it was at work. Like, sir, move around, okay? Move around. And I'm sorry for whatever situation you're in. He didn't look like super um, homeless. He looked like he was sleeping there for the night or for a few days, which is understandable. Whatever your situation was, I did talk to the guy and I was like, well, I understand your situation. Because he, he showed me the picture of his baby. And I was like, well, you just make sure you do what you got to do to be in the baby's life, even if you're not in the mother's life. I try to give him a little advice, but now I feel a little cornered. Can I go back to my spot? Technically, I walked away from my spot because you were by my spot and I came this way and you ended up right cornering me. I don't know if you guys could tell, but my daughter is leaning on me. I have so much fucking corn in my teeth. It's killing me. Like, corn is so good, but it hurts your teeth so bad. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. My two wisdoms that they've been jinxing me. Are you gonna be high? Jinxing Who's me? Who's you up for this? No, no, I, I have to make an appointment with my oral surgery for that. But they've been, you know, the dentist has been saying, yeah, those wisdom teeth need to get pulled out. I'm like, no, how much is that is it gonna be? $400 out of my pocket? Oh, no, 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 no. For each one? No, 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 no. I can wait, because they're not bothering me. And now they're bothering me. We're not talking about that right now. Yeah, I might still push through and make it wait a little longer. You know what's crazy? Like, can I say this? I give it to the people who don't have good health insurance and stuff like that, and they just be having like the worst teeth ever and just be having pain, just going through with it. And I don't know, I give it to y'all strong because. Because tooth pain sucks. And you know what? I get, I, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I cause think, what? I thank God that my mom, like, it has her me, shit together. Took me to the dentist and got me used to it. Because if she didn't get me used to going to the dentist, I would have been one of those people too. And has my shit together? Yeah, that's To true. have insurance? Did I talk about the fact that Henning was $30 for this pint? For a pint, it was $30. Hen dog. But thank you, hubby, for, um, I knew that was going to happen. I will serve you in a second, sir. Um, I was letting it thicken up. I wasn't starving him, just in case. You, don't, don't sue me. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for challenging me. Um, I would have done it with Lucia. Oh, let's talk about something else, because, I mean, I'm not eating. <laughs> I ate a little bit. It's not in the mood to eat right now. But, uh, what was I going to say? My sister, because you guys did, you guys did, um, challenge me and my sister, but my sister is on her lovey-dovey bullshit. And I'm not mad at her for being on her lovey-dovey bullshit, but the show must go on, right? My AC usually cuts off, and today is just like, while, while we're recording, I want to stay on the whole time. And then my son wants to add, while I just 
spat, spit, spat. The toilet. Just all kinds of noises. My daughter is still leaning on me, putting her thigh all on me. Are you cold? Hmm? Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, because you got <laughs> close to my hot ass. Mm -mm. Trifling. But I'm going to take that shot and then I'm going to... um. Mm -mm. You know, I'm my, my mom, one, I forgot what day it was. My mom told me to put the clothes in the dryer. So I, I go in the dryer first because my mom is always the type of person to leave clothes in the dryer. So I go in the dryer first, put the clothes on the couch, go in the washer, no clothes in the washer. <laughs> I put it the away. The girl already put the clothes <laughs> in the dryer. She was like worrying about these clothes so much. And me on the other hand, I'll let them get <laughs> Nice and nasty. <laughs> nice and bombao. <laughs> it was just so funny. I had to say that for you guys. That was just like. That was not okay. How is that chicken? It looks kind of dry. Uh-uh. It's actually not dry. It's just the skin got dried because I air fried it a little. It looks a little air fried. No, it's the skin is, but the skin you don't have to eat unless you like crispy ass skin. And I like crispy skin. I'll eat the skin if it's crispy. What I'm not going to do is eat raw ass meat. And I felt like um, it had a little life to it. So I had to reheat it up. You know, don't you ever feel like rotisserie chicken sometimes if you buy it? Um, it has a little life to it like it's not cooked the way you want it to be cooked that's what i'm saying that's not happening here i'm gonna warm it back up and cook it all the way oh and i know my daughter didn't like the fact that i did that and i don't like the fact that she has her thigh so close <laughs> to my skin right now <laughs> that i'm sweating okay <laughs> from it she's making me hot okay but i gotta go because um i bet that's dry now for this kid congratulations Make sure you go over and congratulate her. Run her playlist. Blase, blase, blah. You were going to say something? No, I was just copying you. Congratulations. Did I say congratulations? Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Party over here. Four ace eats. Party over <laughs> here. Me dance. Four ace eats. <laughs> That's how close you are to me. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's funny. Make sure you like, comment share subscribe click the little bell to be notified maybe encourage these kids to share me the fuck out because they got followers and you know but this they don't talking about they got followers <laughs> this girl got more followers on instagram than me bye i'm over it oh yeah i, I did beat you exactly <laughs> she has more followers i'm i'm not you ain't popping no more i'm popping bye anyways because you don't want to do anything anyways yeah bye